trip 1735 here and this is the first video and um, today I'm going to be telling you how to make an explosion on Motion 5 for Apple which is only for Apple sorry PC people out there so when you're in you depending on what your camera is shooting at mine is 30 frames per second and 1080p oh yes, let me change that frame rate there Alright, now and my video is four seconds long. So let's open our project. So then here is the file browser, the library, and the inspector. File browser is where you get all your your file your videos and files from. Library is where you find all filters, generators, and things and effects that are built into the program. And inspector is where you edit all things from the library and videos and all that. So I'm gonna get my video, which is in documents. All right, and let's just drag it into the timeline here. All right, let's just drag that to the start. Okay, mine, it's zoomed, it will be zoomed in again. So you wanna go to this percentage thing and go fit, and then it should work. But if it's like kind of in here in the middle, just drag it out so it goes right. It will lose a bit of quality, but don't worry, it's worth it. So, click play. I'll turn down the volume. You'll play it, have your video. So, to do an explosion effect, you want to go library. Remember, that's where you get all your things from. You want to go particle emitters. Go to the search tab down here. Search something. And it's called explosion. There's two. There's an, just a normal explosion or a shrapnel explosion, depending on what you're using it for. Um, I'm going to go with the explosion. Just drag that over the top. And as you can see, there's actually a lot of layers for the explosion. And here you can see right now, this goes like that in the middle, not placed anywhere. So let's get the explosion, move it to where we want it to go. And and it will be there. So explosion. And depending on where you want it to be and how big you want it, you can just adjust your settings. If you want it to be big with but not affect the shape of it, hold shift and create it and drag it bigger. That makes the shape stay right. So now the explosion it just goes and you can get explosion sounds off YouTube and all that there yeah some nice explosion sounds but yeah that's how you make an explosion in motion 5 and to, sh to save this video you're going to want to go to share export movie um, and here's all your settings same as source which is what we want it means same as what you imported it as uh, quick time player yeah Include video and audio, that's what we want. Next, save it to where you want it to go. Um, explosion. Cool. Okay. And then just go here, save. So then it's saved, and you have an explosion made in motion. But one more thing. If you want, if you want the explosion to go behind something, Say I want it to go behind this pole thing here. You're going to want to go uh, click on the explosion, right? See this um, this pole here. I want the explosion to go like behind there. I'll grab a. I'll go to here. Hold down. Go to the second from the bottom, a Bezier mask, and just find where you think it might be. And, and do that and like right click on it go to blend mode subtract instead of add and it will have everything except or it will have the whole explosion except it will be behind not in front and as you can see it kind of doesn't look like it's behind now because it goes in front still you can just drag that behind Grab the Bezier mask, 
bit down and kind of, you know, looks like it's from and uh, behind the thing. It's not the best, like, because I kind of rushed it, but, you know, it's kind of cool, so you can make it behind things, and it'd be better if you shot it on a tripod, but, yeah, whatever. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you next time. So, see ya.